G'day again, back for some more integration. So this time we're going to do integration of Laplace, which is something you actually do in first year or second year university. But it's one of those integrations where you do integration by parts, which is extension two or four unit mathematics, and you do it and it's a never ending uh, integration. So what you actually do is you do it twice and withdraw the first piece back onto the first side and that's your answer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to do this one, we've got the function is cos 2t sine 2t. Uh, that's a bit of a disaster doing a Laplace because a Laplace is going to be an integral between zero and infinity of e to the minus st multiplied by some function. Now we don't want that function to be two functions because that's a real nightmare. We only want it to be one function. So what you need to do to start with is simplify that and you simplify that using a pretty easy year 11 rule in mathematics. So year 11 rule in mathematics would say that uh, sine x plus y will equal sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. And you just simplify, simplify that by putting in both x's so then you'll get sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x. Now you've got the same thing there. We'll move the half, the 2 over to this side, so we'll end up with a half sine 2x equals sine x cos x. And this is the same as this. The only difference is your x is 2t. So if your x is 2t, if we made those 2t and 2t, well, this is double it. So this is going to be a half sine 4t and that will be your first move to simplify that function to this form and then do your Laplace integration which will be this multiplied by your function of t and in this case that's going to be your function of t. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to go integrate 0 to infinity e to the minus st multiplied by a half sine 4t. Well, you've got a, a fraction there, which is a constant. So the first thing you would obviously do, or you should do, is move that half straight out the front. So we want to integrate that. We want to integrate the whole thing with respect to t. And I'm going to do it by parts. So we're going to make that u and that v dash. Doesn't really matter. Works out the same, which, whichever way you do it. And then we're going to make that u v minus integrate v u dash. And we'll end up doing it twice because sine, if you integrate it once, you get cos. Integrate it again, you get back to sine. And that's what we need to do. And then that should be pretty obvious. It should be in your head that that's the sort of pattern you're going to look for in this sort of uh, equation. So u, so that just stays the same. So we've got this half out the front, and we need to put the half there and put everything surrounded by this half because that's the whole integration. We can't just magically delete it. So make sure you put the half in there to start with. Then you've got e to the minus st. v, well, we're going to integrate that. Well, if you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. So if you integrate sine, you're going to get minus cos. So we're going to get minus cos four t, four will go in front underneath, so that's a quarter minus, now we're going to integrate, v u dash. So v, again we've got this v which we've just integrated there, so that's going to be minus a quarter cos four t, multiplied by u dash, well there's our u, differentiate that, and the minus s will go in front, so we're going to multiply by minus s e to the minus st. Now all of that, there's a dt, a, yeah dt there, all of that is surrounded by that half. Okay, now you're going to do this section again, uh, probably easier if you move the s and the quarter out the front, so minus minus is a plus, but you've still got another minus, so we'll simplify it in one step. We'll leave the half here, the half, so, and we've got half a quarter Actually, we might simplify that easier. So we might leave that, we might actually take that out. So 4 times 2 is uh, 8. So we're going to have minus 1 on 8, e to the minus st cos 4t. 
uh, minus, minus, minus is a plus, so that won't cancel. S on 4. So I've got S on 4. Now S on 4 isn't correct because we've still got this half, so this will be S on 8. Integrate between, and that's 0 to infinity, and I should be writing that in there, shouldn't I? 0 to infinity of this, which is the same as this pattern, and we'll write it in the same format. So we've got E to the minus ST multiplied by, and this time it's cos 4T. So this is going to be our new U and our new V dash DT. And let's do it all again. So you just go minus 1 on 8 E to the minus ST cos 4T minus S on 8. And now we're going to do this thing again. So U, and we're going to go the same U. So let's leave the U alone, which is E to the minus ST. V dash becomes V, so in this case we're going to integrate cos, and this time we'll get a straight sign. So 4T, and because we're integrating, again we'll get the, the quarter there, which we can move out the front in a second. Minus, integrate between zero and infinity, and we'll do it all again. And so now we've got V, U dash, so that's our V. We'll integrate it, we'll get this, which is a quarter sine 4t uh, u dash, we're going to differentiate that, minus s will go in front, so minus s e to the minus st to t, and here we've pretty much got this, if we simplify it and write it out a bit, making a note that all of this is multiplied by s on 8. So let's clean it up a little bit, so we're going to get minus 1 8 e to the minus st cos 4t, that's not cos tt, minus, and let's see what we can do here, so 4 times 8 is 32, there's no other things, so we've got minus s on 32, e to the minus st sine 4t, and all of this we still haven't substituted in infinity and zero, I didn't put it in here, we'll do that at the end. So we've got this, and we've got this minus minus is a plus, we've got another minus, so minus minus minus, it'll still be a minus. So minus, what can we take out of here? We've got s, we've got an 8, that's a 32, we've got another s, so it's an s squared, we've got a 32, integrate, zero, infinity, and we'll write it in the same format here. So we're going to have e to the minus st multiplied by sine 4t to t. And here you've got exactly the same as this. The only difference is you've got the half. But we're just going to move all of this over here by adding it to both sides. Okay? So we add this to both sides. The only thing you really need to rewrite is this thing because that's what you're adding over here. So we will have a half plus s squared on 32 multiplied by integral 0 to infinity e to the minus st sine 4t to t equals all of this stuff. So minus 1 on 8 e to the minus st cos 4t minus s on 32 e to the minus st sine 4t. And this bit, obviously, we've moved it over here because there it is right there. Okay, so we're all good with that. This you need to rewrite because we can't actually remove that half. We've got to leave that half there because this is still your question. So you need to put that half back out the front and have, we can put the half there so we can still see the question. Half integral 0 infinity e minus s sine 4t to t equals. Now we should simplify this. If we take a half out, we're going to get 1 plus uh, s squared on 16, aren't we? And if we simplify this so we can move it across as one fraction, we will get 16 plus s squared on 16. And this is what we're going to flip. So the 16 is going to go up the top, the 16 plus s squared is going to go down the bottom. So let's do that. So everywhere we've got the two fractions, 
we're going to put we're going to substitute this in reverse 16 on top well 16 on 8 is 2 so here we'll have minus 2 on uh, 16 plus x squared plus s squared and then we've got e to the minus st cos 4t again we're going to do the same 16 is going to go on top 16 on 32 or well, the 2 is going to stay on the bottom and this is going to go down the bottom so we'll have minus s on 2 multiplied by 16 plus s squared multiplied by e to the minus st sine 4t the only thing wrong with doing this whole question is it gets quite tedious rewriting it and now you've got that this equals this and all we have to do now is substitute in infinity minus zero so if we put infinity in the thing you should realize if i put in e to the minus infinity well, you get something that's really tiny so effectively this and this is zero so what you end up with is minus zero minus zero minus because that's your first term nothing and nothing and there's two minus signs minus this with a zero in there so let's put a zero in here in the t's well anything to the zero is one so that becomes a one cos one cos zero well, what's cos zero quick look at a cos curve there's a cos curve there's cos zero and look at that that's one as well so one times one times this now we've got minus of it so it's going to be minus 2 over 16 plus s squared and then we've got a minus all of this so now we're going to put in 0 here well that again is 1 put in 0 there sine 0 look at a sine curve and sine 0 is 0 so that's nothing so this is minus nothing and that's your answer you've got minus minus of it so it equals positive 2 over 16 plus s squared and you're done.